The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, my name is Patty Hunter. This is Patty's Page TV show. Today's special guest is Mr. Bobby Bork. He is a musician, turned educator, an author, and a coach. Now, I have questions for you, kiddo. Okay, I'm ready. Well, where are you now? Anyways, California. I'm in California, correct, yes. Now, you have a YouTube channel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's on it? Why do you uh, have the, it? Uh, the channel is youtube.com slash Bobby Borg. Um, the mission statement of the channel is to help musicians turn their art into a more successful business. And um, pretty much there's videos on there, short tutorials. There's you know, one minute video clips um, that basically give people just little nits and bits and pieces. And then there's also longer form video, you know, anywhere ranging from about usually eight to 10 minutes or so. And then I have the, the videos in between sort of like the quick ones, you know, four minutes, you know, just digestible bite sized pieces of information that musicians can use to um, improve their careers and their business sense. Do you have uh, like a course lessons? Uh free or you had to pay or what? Well, basically I'm a professor of music business at USC and, um, and I'm pretty busy uh, teaching, you know, so when I get on, on YouTube, really the videos are supplementary material for my students and for really anyone that wants to see it. So I'm not really pushing any kind of course or anything of that nature no, no, um, simply because I have so many students. You have a lot. Sorry? You are also uh, an owner of Bobby Bork Consulting. What type of consulting are we talking about then? Well, basically, if anybody wants to, um, like anyone that sees the videos or anyone that might read my books, let's just say, for example, if they wanted to actually meet with me and talk to me personally one on one, they can actually sign up for either a half an hour um, appointment or an hour appointment. Mm. And, you know, I try to make it affordable for, you know, musicians um, on a budget, um, you know, but I'm so busy. Uh, I, unfortunately, I just can't sit with someone and give them uh, advice for a half an hour, an hour, you know, um, so they have to book me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you have had over the years written a lot of books. How many have there been? I think at this point right now, it's probably about seven at this point. Um, my first book was called The Musician's Handbook. The second one was called Business Basics for Musicians. Mm. The third was called Music Marketing for the DIY Musician. Uh, the fourth was called Introduction to Music Publishing. The fifth is actually um, Personal Finance for Musicians. A sixth was called uh, uh, Music um, uh, Five Star Music Makeover. Oh. So, and then there's been like one or two revisions of each one of those books. So quite quite a lot of books. And they're all available on Amazon for anyone there, that might want to purchase them. Are there any sold out that you can't get? Uh, well, The Musician's Handbook is no longer in print. That was the first book I wrote. And that was as far back as 2003. And then we revised it in 2008. But then after that, we didn't revise it anymore. It's a lot of work, kiddo. Well, it kind of it merged into business basics for musicians, essentially. So it, it, it kind of merged into that and business basics of, of, for musicians became sort of a derivative work of, of the musician's handbook. So you have two re recent books out? 
Uh, well, um, the basically uh, the two books, Business Basics for Musicians and Music Marketing for the DIY Musician, were both revised mm. in 2020. And now I have another book coming out this March uh, called Personal Finance for Musicians. I want that book. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Everybody and, needs uh, help with their finances. Yeah, we could use that, kiddo. It has been over six years since we interviewed you, kiddo. Yeah, time flies, huh? A lot um, has happened. Yeah, time flies. Uh, I, I apologize to everybody that I'm on my phone doing this interview because literally 10 minutes before I um, I was going to jump on the interview, I actually broke the screen of my computer. Oh, no. So I, I now have to go to get my computer fixed at 6 o'clock. I have an appointment with the Apple uh, Genius Bar. So I'm just, you know, as the bumper sticker says, you know, stuff happens. So I'm just going to deal with it. You know, it's never fun when your computer gets screws up, but mm. I'm probably going to have to get a new screen. It's like, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, problems are going <laughs> to always exist in your life. You just got to, you know, how you deal with them is what, you know, sets your character, I guess, right? You are a character, sir. Yes. <laughs> um, some of the YouTube uh, is it teaching? Uh, what? Just a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there. What's the basic idea, your mission to give to your students? Uh, well, basically, as, as pointed out, is to help musicians turn their art into a more successful business. Yeah. So to help yeah. musicians turn their art or their passion for music into a more successful business. So that basically means that, um, you know, um, anything from like teaching them like the very basic stuff for example one of the latest videos was how to cover a song so oh. if you want to do a cover song and legally put it on your record how do you do that then another one was maybe you know um uh marketing tips uh for musicians that many musicians might not use like for example advertising so um it will you know we'll just kind of just try to make people aware of different things they can do to improve their careers that's all I could use some of your stuff. I have several songs out sung by other people. Uh huh. They're singles, and I'm trying to break into the uh, music, yeah, you know, business here to get it. Are you subscribed? Huh? Can Are you hear? subscribed to my channel? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> so, what's your channel uh, site? What? what? What's it called? www.bobbyboard. Oh, sorry. www.youtube.com slash bobbyboard. All right. I'm going to look Tons at Tons of stuff on there. So, uh, are there going to be more books? Or just that one more that you talked about? The sixth one? Or, or are you too, too busy to write a lot of books now? Because you're really gung-ho in your teaching. And... Uh, when were the recent ones released, the ones that you uh, improved? Uh, well, basically, uh, in 2020, uh, Business Basics for Musicians and Music Marketing uh, for the DIY Musician were reviewed and released. And then now coming up in 2023 of February, we got another one coming out. That's the one on personal finance. Where do you get these books? Amazon.com. Um, if you just search, like, if you go to Amazon and then search for Bobby Borg, I'll have all my books on there. I used to sell them from my site, yeah. but after COVID, like, basically everyone got so used to, like, ordering from, you know, Amazon, you know, and Amazon is such great delivery. You know, you could buy a book and have it by the next day. You know, I can't compete with Amazon. So I used to have a store on the website, so I just took it down and now I just go exclusively to Amazon. You get royalties for everything that you uh, sell, which is good. You were in a band many moves ago, or several. Yes, in my in my early career, in the the earlier part of my career, I was in I was in bands as a musician. Uh, I was in the band uh, Beggars and Thieves that was signed to Atlantic Records. Then I was in another group called Left for Dead, which was signed with a record label in Japan called the Burnett Label. And then I was in the band Warrant 
and warrant was signed to CMC International. So I recorded several records with these all of these bands together and toured the United States and, you know, was endorsed and, you know, did the whole kind of rock star thing pretty much. And uh, and then pretty much what I saw was I saw that musicians like get so abused. <laughs> so I basically decided to go back to school and start writing and teaching people about the ins and outs of the music business. Now you are a professor. Uh, what are some of the um, topics do you like marketing? I teach them. Um, uh, I teach a class called Music Marketing for the DIY Musician, or, or it's called DIY Music Marketing. I also teach a class on um, on, on management. Um, so I teach it from the perspective of a music, a musician, and what a manager should be from the standpoint of a musician's view. And um, I also teach a class on music publishing as well, mm -hmm. and uh, and many others. So you have been really busy over the years, my friend. Well, since I talked to you, it feels like a couple months ago. So basically, <laughs> that's how fast time flies for oh me. My goodness. It has been a spell, you know. What would you, what would you uh, like to share with my audience about um, what you can do to help them, how they can come to you? How do they come to you? Do you phone? Like I said before, the email or uh, website and all that. People can reach me at www.bobbyborg.com. That's right. my home website. Right. And from there, they can find my TikTok. They can find my Instagram. They can find my YouTube. Um, uh, they can find my Facebook. They can find my uh, LinkedIn. You know, So from my way website, they can find everything that they need. Um, I have, uh, obviously I have, um, you know, information about my books. I have information about my consulting. Uh, I've got a, a mailing list that they can sign up for if they would like to join the mailing list so that they can receive, you know, um, information about my, uh, videos. You know, I, I put out about three videos a week. It's all okay. free information. And anyone that's interested in like receiving that, just go to Bob, you know bobbyborg.com and sign up for the mailing list, and I'll have you on the mailing list. And when you're consulting, do uh, <clears throat> basically music again? Uh, typically, musicians, uh, managers, producers, songwriters, people that have need help with some, you know, with things like contact me. You know, for example, a gentleman from um, Atlanta contacted me just yesterday, oh, yeah. and he's an old he's an older gentleman, and uh, and basically he's been working a normal job. You know, when he was a young kid, he tried to make it as a musician, and then he he kind of quit because he had to start making money. So he got a normal job as an air traffic controller. Oh, wow. He's been working as an air traffic controller probably for forty years, or, or you know, or thirty five years. You know, mm -hmm. made money, built up his pension, all that good stuff. And now he's an older man and he's like, you know what? I want to go after my dreams and what makes me really happy. So he was asking me about like, you know, how can I start playing around town? How can I start getting gigs or like coffee houses? You know, um, you know, what are some of the best ways to promote myself to make sure that people come to the show? Um, you know, uh, how can I maybe start licensing my music and film and television, stuff like that? Wow. You're one busy dude. Do you get any time yes. off for yourself? I'm sorry? Do you get any time off for yourself, like a vacation? Well, the only time, I mean, in a, in, a, in the daytime, typically my only time off is like when I work out. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, I, I, you know, it, it's, it's funny because, you know, yeah, I mean, like if you even call that time off. You know, it's funny because um, you I was just saying that to myself, you know, it's just like, all I do is work, you know, fortunately yeah. I enjoy my work yeah. and my work is a lot of fun, but you know, I mean, yeah, I probably need to get out of the house a little bit more, you know, and go have some fun, you know, and, and stuff. But um, I feel that my life has been so fun, yeah. <laughs> especially when I was younger as a professional musician, yeah. I kind of feel like, you know, I've been retired my whole life, and, and so I don't really mind working. You know I mean? it's, it's fun to do it instead of being a work uh, 
you know, job, a job. I'm not doing something I don't love, that's for sure. That's true. Just like with me, with my TV show and all. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years now. <sighs> it's a long time. Yeah, long time, uh, long running. I'm 70 this year. And wow, congratulations. You don't, don't look know. 70. Oh. More, more. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what do you see in the future for yourself, kiddo? Well, pretty much in the future um, is, um, I think, pretty much just continuing to do what I do. I mean, um, you know, I, I, I really want to build up the YouTube channel. Um, I'm looking forward to the release of my book in March, the personal finance book. I'll just do, I'll be doing more teaching. I'll be doing more writing. I'll be doing more recording and, uh, you know, just, just doing it, you know, doing more of it. Just keep on building what I've got. Do you still sing? Or drummer? Uh, I, I don't, I'm not currently drumming. No, I spent a, a, a good part of my life drumming. And uh, I kind of, you know, was so serious about it. I used to practice so many hours. Right. Uh, I kind of felt like I needed to kind of put it down. You know what I mean? Kind right. of like, yeah. you know, I'm the person that if I do something, I want to do it right. So when I was a drummer, I practiced 10 or 15 hours because I wanted to be the best. So I, I, I don't really want to play if I'm not going to be the best. So I just put it down. <laughs> so you're using your mind. Yeah, exactly. I'm using my brain a little bit more. Yeah. So uh, it's almost going on. Almost going on in my English. No, it's going on 18 after. So what would uh, you like to share with my audience, sir? Well, just in closing, uh, you know, I, I, you know, if if you if your audience is are, are musicians that are trying to make it in the music business, uh, one of the keys to success, I would say, is is number one, be very very clear of your vision and where it is that you want to go, so that you can more easily map out the directions to get there. That's number one. Number two, make sure that you measure your success on your own terms. For example, some people want, you know, fame and fortune and all that good stuff. And then other people just want to be able to make a living at music. And then other people, even lower than that, like are basically just wanting to share their music and have it be reciprocated with people locally. So just make sure you're very, very clear of how you measure success. And then the third thing is you have to stay at it because it's not something the music industry is not fair. If you're good, you're talented. It doesn't automatically like give you a license, you know, to be successful. You know, you have, you get kicked, you get punched, you go through the ins and outs and you just have to keep on going. And typically everybody that's ever made it in the industry has, has suffered like, you know, ups and downs. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people quit, you know, and they just give up. So you just have to keep on doing it, keep on enjoying it. And um and, 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 and pretty much in the future, you know, you'll probably find your path. Yeah, sorry. I have a wee bit of a cold here. <laughs> no worries. Out. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, Bobby. Oh, you coughed too, eh? Oh, okay. We're even. Okay. I'd like to thank you, Bobby Bork, my friend from six years ago. Who I have Absolutely. Been dog's age and I'd like to see you again before another six years you know it's absolutely let's do it again sooner than that I, I, I'm glad that you reached out and thank you very much uh, um, farewell to all the listeners out there it was nice talking with you guys and I guess I'll see you soon again Patty right behave yourself and not have fun <laughs> thank you so much take care bye doll bye bye What's up everybody, my name is Bobby Borg and today we're gonna to do something different. I wanna give you guys a behind the scene look at my channel and how I create these videos for you guys. So first of all, you might be wondering like why do I even make these videos? Because I'm a musician first and foremost and I found out that music is an art but making money is a very serious business. So much so that I actually even authored several books about the music industry. These are all books that are released by Hal Leonard and Billboard Books and are used in universities worldwide. I'm also a professor of music industry studies. I teach at the University of Southern California, Thornton School of Music, and other classes as well. Here's my camera. Here's my setup. 
So what I would do is I'd just hit stop, take the card out, and then I'd walk over to my desk office station, so to speak, and I would put this uh, right in here, and then I would sit at my desk. You can see this is where I would do my editing. You can see I have a camera for Zoom where I do my consultations and I actually teach classes as well. Um, you're probably wondering about my background, the background behind me. I'm a graduate of Berkeley College of Music in Boston, also a graduate of the University of Southern California as well. And here is a plaque that commemorates different groups that I've played with over the years. Um, Beggars and Thieves was signed to Atlantic Records and were managed by Coupon Management that handles Metallica. We have Left 4 Dead, which was an indie rock band that was signed in Japan. And then, of course, the multi-platinum rock group Warrant. I did two records with them and, and several tours as well. You can see my background. The background was specifically designed for the set, uh, painted everything over. We have lights. This is a backlight so that it kind of gives a shine behind me. We have lights right here on the ground so we can actually experiment. This is kind of cool. We can experiment with different looks. So if we want a little bit of a different look, you can see now it has a different look as well. Over here, you can see that you know we have our mics. We have our lighting over here with the diffuser. We have a camera with a little shield right here that kind of actually cuts down on the glare from this backlight. We've got our lights over here as well. Point being is that we spend a lot of time and energy, you guys, to actually really enhance the quality of these videos to give you the best possible experience. Right over here is where I would sit at my desk and you can see I have a project open right now. And you can see that this is actually where I would edit the videos. And sometimes, I'm telling you, it's all in the editing. I mean, for one video I make, it could take, you know, it could take two days just for that video. And I make two videos pretty much a week, so we're talking, I mean, we're talking four days of editing just to kind of present these, this information to you. So, um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching the videos. I hope that you'll subscribe and hit the notification bell, and most importantly, Please share these links on your socials and share them with other musicians that you think will benefit from this material because that's really the whole point in me doing this stuff. So again, my name is Bobby Borg. I'm here to help you turn your art into a more successful business. Peace. Us always for the rest of our